Eating to music is a time-honoured custom, as old as these spoons from the Belgian Congo. They are part of the famous British Museum collection, like these wooden spoons from the Philippines. Only the men are allowed to use the carved handles. Horn spoons from British Columbia are carved with spirit forms, like an old English gentleman's family plate. Giraffe handle spoons from Betuana land, going down. Spoons are used mainly for stirring and eating the thick porridge, which is the native staple diet. The Zulu spoon is a sort of ladle, stained with vegetable juices. The ring handles are mainly ornaments. All the nice people of New Guinea are sago addicts and they use a kind of paddle with a carved handle for stirring and feeding. The Eskimo spoon is of musk horn and he uses it for drinking oil as well. Knife and spoon are combined in Mashona land. The spoons for porridge and the knife for cutting the meat between the teeth. A long copper knife used by the people of northern Canada. The copper is found locally and just hammered into shape. Hunting pictures adorn the handle. When young braves of the upper Amazon are initiated into the tribe, knives like these are used. In some parts of India, thunderbolt knives surmounted by the demon king's head drive away the lesser demons. They're shaped like a dagger. The cannibal, keen on etiquette, used these forks when he dined off human flesh, but he never bothered about a table napkin. When some people handle the modern fork, they feel infradig. But you never know what you might find. A common spud has been known to look more like a man than some men do themselves. And finally, to a thundering good time with a lightning artist who's always a...